tell you a little bit about Gina's background. Um, she is, uh, she likes to draw. She's constantly, constantly learning different, uh, different techniques for all different styles of art. There's a technique, uh, where, uh, you're, you're pouring, uh, different paints, uh, together over a canvas, uh, for different effects. And there's, uh, different techniques for that also which uh which uh she does uh sometimes she also does a lot of uh art resin she she works with lots of different mediums and she works on everything from uh, wood to canvas out of clay today is just about the dishes but you can really take your imagination and go with it and make a ton of things um, I just made a bunch of clay dishes for you guys just to give you an example but you can really use your own imagination You can paint them, you can ink them up, you could uh, do a bunch of things with them, you can marbleize them, um, but you can do a ton of things. Today we're going to do two types of clay because uh, we have the oven clay which takes 30 minutes, so then we make the colors are already mixed already, and the other clay is the air dry clay which takes about three days to dry. Well, what's it called? Air dry clay. Air dry. Mm -hmm. And that takes three days to dry. Air dry is my favorite so far because it's more organic, I think, than the other one. Um, and you could do a lot of things and it's just fun to see what it turned out like a couple of days later. Um, but and you can do a lot more. You can ink it, paint it. Everything seeps to it really well. Do you do that after it dries? After it dries, yeah. That's why the next class we're going to do the painting and the, whatever you guys want to do make fun designs, and then paint them and be creative. Uh -huh. Today, for the 30 minutes that we're waiting, we're going to do the air dry clay and show you guys the tricks that I've learned and all the fun things about it. And the first thing we're going to do is the oven clay, which you can marbleize it if you'd like and make the colors already. Or we can do one color and you can make your bowl one color or whatever you want to do. So that's it. Picking colors is the one color that you pick is the strongest color that let's say you want to do a marble color like this or like this. So I picked white as my main color and I put a little bit of gray and a little bit of black in this. So that gives you the marbleized color. So you can pick like what your strongest color is. You can pick three colors and you can get two dishes, the whole block. So you just kind of, it's great exercise for your grip, you know, like remember those little ball-y things that we used to have? Stress balls. Yeah. Stress balls. This is great when you're stressed, you put some music on and roll out the ball, <laughs> squeeze it. So the more you squeeze, the softer it starts to get. So. And how long do you recommend for that size? Not long. You just kind of roll it out and then you can kind of start smoothing it out like a meatball. 
Like Gina makes her meatballs, she goes like this. <laughs> Roma. So you kind of roll it out, and then you so, sometimes you want it to get it as smooth as possible. And then you can take your cutting board. Victor, you want your plate? Bowl here. So take, take your three. Kind of oh, no, 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 no. Do that. I'm, I'm good. What do you want to do? Can yeah, make you make it in a wall. Limited I find capacity. It easier, yeah. <laughs> If anybody wants, if they have a white one or a lighter color, if you take ground pepper and you grind it and you put it onto your clay, you get that really cool, popular, girls know this, the speckled look that's really popular right now on ceramics. So you get that like black and white or yellow or beige, that kind of color is really popular right now. How about if you have a mixed pepper grinder? And all different colors. That's, yeah. You want me to get that? Yeah. <laughs> so I made three balls out of it. Whoa. I'm gonna make a little dish so there's more clay for you guys. So I'll wait. Are those blue balls? I'm colorblind. They're purple balls. <laughs> <laughs> but I can juggle too. Everybody, ready? <laughs> oh no! <it's> <laughs> I used to be able to juggle. <laughs> We all used to be able to do a lot of things. <laughs> and I roll the clay with a glass. I have a roller over there if you guys want to try it, but I think the glass works the best. I just find it, you can stick your hand in this, or you can go like this. I like it better. going to fit in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great, try it. <laughs> color that you want to see in your design like this is more blue I have in the design a little gray and a little black all right so you're gonna take your ball and split it in half there's a cutter if you need one With just cut your ball and then whatever if you want your dominant color use the whole ball okay it's up to you or more the ball in a little bit for the next bowl because then the next bowl you can make a different color with a different dominant color a bigger snake like that 
really made him skinny. And then you roll again. So you're rolling it. Because this is what you're mixing the color now into each other. Mm -hmm. That was good color choice. Okay, then you roll it again. Twist, and you just keep twisting. And you could do this as many times as you want until you get the color consistency. Like if you want the sh ribbons to be thinner, you can do that too. And this is the part that's relaxing. You put music on, you enjoy. No. <laughs> that, was John. Right. that was a hint, John. That was a hint. Emma. All right, and then I'm doing it one more time. Are you doing the break? <laughs> All right, so you can keep twisting. I'm going to come around real quick. Split that in half. Yep. And you're going to you can make this. <laughs> And one thing about rolling, if you roll on the outside in, it doesn't get too skinny on the outside, if that helps, like a little trick. So right. what about if I just cut them in half? And yeah, cut them in half and then do that. What is it? Like, this is like but don't roll them anymore. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could... I can give you more red if you want your red, but this is fine. You can make this left. And that left. You push them all together like a snake. And then you draw. That's for my next one. Okay. Like those candies. Remember those candies when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Right. Pull on the outside in. I'm going to make this a ball. Turn this into a ball. Yeah. I'm making that. Why don't you just keep doing it? Want so you keep rolling it unless you get yeah. you get to that point and then you kind of take it into a ball but you're not going to mush it like you did before you're just kind of going to go like this and then go like in a meatball again you don't want to mush it together and when you get to the ball part again you kind of put it on your table and flatten it out with the palm of your hand to make it kind of like a circle, flat circle, like that. Then you're gonna take your glass and you're gonna roll over it like I'm doing now. So, and make sure you flip sides when you roll. Then you flip it again, because sometimes it gets stuck. Red. Yeah, I know, I'm just looking at right. I like your color. Just a burst of red. Thank you. Okay. It doesn't make much. Either. What's this from here? What this from here? Yeah, now you make it into a ball.
the side that you um, like the most? Like this side or this side? If I have little smaller bowls, this mine is like too bad. I have one right here. Yeah, I can what? So clean up the edges, right? Like here, as best as you can. And then you're gonna go like this all around. So you wanna the side that you like the most? You're gonna that's gonna go on the inside of your bowl. So the whatever side, side should be the on better the better side. side. So you so pick which side you, you like the best. No. Oh, I was gonna say it. Those are good colors. Yeah. So you can just go like lay it on top, uh -huh. very lightly. If you just wanna have like a like that, or you wanna have something rigidy, or you I can do it this way. This. But I think this is too wide. Yeah. So rigidy. Actually, let me clean this for you so you don't. The other clay is gonna stick to it. Oh, I lost my silver. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this the side you want? Yeah, yeah I don't like. care. What am I saying? What side do you think? Okay, I made like a little like charm. Do you want a little more? Joe, you can, this is if you want to, you don't have to, I like it like this. If people feel like it's, you know, it's, I like that. you can cut it to make I, I it go around, it's totally your call, but I'm just showing you a different idea. I like that, just the way right. You can always so fix anything with a knife. Or a knife. Right. That's nice, right. I like it. I like it. Alright, where are we putting it? <laughs> just to hold that one. Who else to make one of these? Are you going to be that or a person? What are you cooking there? Everything, all kinds of candy. <laughs> Alright guys, they're going in the oven. Alright, you're going in the oven. 30 minutes to fun. Woohoo! the timer. Oh, it's hot. Okay, guys. Not miles too far. That was bad. Kingston. Sold 90 miles to Jersey City. Oh, it's hot. I don't know who they were. What's hot, Tina? The oven. Oh, 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 oh,
So when I call your name, come get your clay. But we'll pass it down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Can you split this into seven? Into seven? Seven. There's a little line. Give, give it that little cutter right there. Yeah. Split this one into seven. It's not supposed to be flat, John. Flat. He flattened it already. Okay, but it's not going to be. Flat it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we finally have an opening. <laughs>